Hello, I'm Heather Meyer, and the following is an art tour of the Wiseman Art Museum designed specifically for dogs. Of course, all humans, cats, birds, mice, fish, ponies, and plants are also welcome to take the tour. So sit back, call your favorite furry friend up next to you, and enjoy the tour. Okay, welcome. Oh, I see we almost have everyone here. Oh, thank you so much. Great. Yes, come on over. Come on in. Here is where the dog tour is going to start. Welcome. So glad you're all here. Uh, my name is Heather and I will be your tour guide for the Wiseman Art Dog Tour. Yes. Oh, I see that you are all from PAWS. Thank you all so much for all the incredible work that you have been doing. Ah, we have Kaylee, Dottie Pepper, Bodie, Phoenix, and Jigs. Thank you all for taking time out of your very busy schedules to go on this cultural exploration through art for dogs. Now, what we're gonna jump into is we're gonna discover that art is for everyone including our canine friends. So you will be going on a journey to see the impact of dogs in art through the Wiseman's collection. Any, any questions yet? Just either bark now or shake or stare into the screen as you are all doing so wonderfully. Thank you so much. Yes, I see that some of you have been on art tours before. Oh yes, uh-huh, Dottie Pepper, very excited. Yes, oh, Jigs, you have experience with art as well, wonderful. Oh, you're all experts, so let's dive in. Okay, here we have, look at this incredible piece. Now, what do you see happening here? Yeah, any questions, any thoughts? Well, what I see, yep, yeah, oh, yep, you see it too. That is a shoe. And what is the dog doing with the shoe? What engagement is happening here? Anyone? Yes, play. Maybe some chewing, some sniffing. Yep, I definitely see that there's some sniffing there. And it, what's fun is the universality of dogs and footwear. Footwear is important for humans as much as it is for dogs. And you can see this dog putting their paw inside the strap of the shoe and their nose is very close. So they're bringing in the scent of the human who had been wearing that shoe. Maybe it was someone as part of their immediate family or someone new to them and they wanted to get to know this person. Something I would like to point out to you all is look at the eyes of the artwork here. See how soul-filled and detailed they are? I think the artist really captured the depth and complexity that dogs bring to all of our lives, as you all know. So it's an excellent example. Jigs, I think you might even bear some resemblance to this dog in the imagery. Yes, uh-huh, yeah, you're right. Very similar. Okay, any questions about this piece? Oh, yes, yes, okay. Um, you know what? I think it was drawn with hands, not with paws. So that's a good question. I think it was a human that made this, not a dog. We'll move forward. Oh, here we have, look at this one. This is a collection of 30 dogs. So what we're seeing here is not a realistic interpretation of what dogs look like. Jigs, um, okay, Jigs just popped into the gift shop. They will return. Oh, there, Jigs, you're back. Welcome, thank you for coming back. Um, so here, these dogs are all sketches and they're illustrations of dogs. As we know, dogs come in a limitless types of breeds and hybrids and mixtures and each one is so incredibly unique that the artist here has captured that by drawing different dogs in different ways. Notice the interplay of shapes versus scribbles. Yes, I know that some of you possibly might make your own artwork um, through chewing or knocking things over in an installation performance art piece. This is something that may inspire your work. The idea that something as simple as a scribble or a scruff could lead to a deeper illustration. Great work. Oh yes, everyone's on board. Yes, excellent. Phoenix, that is a wonderful observation. That is great. I think these dogs are all happy in this picture too. I think that is great because they're together. It's like a dog park of an image. That is a great observation, Phoenix. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna move forward. Okay, here's one that I know everyone's gonna like. What are we seeing here? 
Yep, a field. Oh, a park. I'm getting a lot of answers here. Oh, fun. A farm. The farm. Yep, this looks like a lot of fun. This is an open field. This is a farm. How beautiful is this piece? Doesn't that look like we all just want to run in there right now? Think of the things that you could snuffle around in or chase. Yeah. Take a look in the middle of the image. There are four figures and they're animal figures as indicated by four legs. What are some ideas of what creatures you think those are? Horse. Yep. Someone said wanted a horse. I see that. Um, I think the front one might be a horse because of the tail. It could also be a very big dog. Yes, that's right, Kaylee. That could be a very big dog drawn there. Um, the three on the smaller side, I would instinctually assume they're cows, but we know animals and dogs come in many shapes. So it could be cows. It could also be dogs as well. Oh, it could be cats. We could be chasing cats in this field. Yep, yep, excellent. So this looks very fun. So excellent. Oh, any questions? Nope, okay, great. We're gonna move forward. All right, the history of dogs would be remiss. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the connection between dogs and humans. And here we can see now is a dog represented like a blue dog with some humanoid figures. Um, I don't know a dog that has this type of human muscular system in his chest area. Uh, maybe you do. You connect with a lot more dogs than I do, so perhaps you know what their uh, goals are in that area. But what I've seen here is I see this beautiful dog's ears pointed up indicating the canine. And then this human person standing next to them like they're buddies. And now I know all of you are very good with human connection. Making, oh, Jigs, thank you for wearing a bow tie. Yes, excellent. I appreciate the costume change throughout the art tour. Really great job. What, yes, oh, Bodie, good observation. You, you notice that this man is smiling and this dog is smiling. Yeah. That is great. Dogs bring joy into humans' lives and humans try our hardest to bring joy into dogs' lives. Kaylee, great observation. You're seeing what I'm seeing. At the top of the man's head, you can see the dog's figure, fingers peeking over like dog ears. Yes, Dottie Pepper. That is true. There is a whole thing where humans put this behind their head to make rabbit ears with each other. But I think you're right that this, they're making the dog, the man into a dog. This is an image about a dog embracing this man, letting him know that he too can be as wonderful as a canine. That is a wonderful observation. Thank you all. Yes, we are definitely seeing that here. A lot of smiling, a lot of happiness. There's a little mischievousness going on. Now, I don't know if any of you know about doing anything mischievous. Dogs are wonderfully honest. Um, yeah, but I'm sure each of you have had a time where maybe you got a little excited and knocked over a garbage bin and or hid somebody's sock. And that is a normal part of life. All humans knock over garbage bins and all humans hide somebody's sock. So this is also representing that complex relationship between humans and dogs, humans to humans, and dogs to dogs, a self-reflection of the canine species. Moving forward, look at what's happening here. Yeah, yes, uh-huh, yes, great observation, Phoenix. You look very similar, it's true, look at this. Is this someone you know? Oh, it is, well, they're an excellent model. Thank you so much for introducing us to this person, this dog, excuse me. Uh, what do we see happening in this image? Ah, yes, Dottie Pepper. We see somebody on a piece of furniture. Yeah, and I think it looks really comfortable too. Oh, Jigs, you wanna get on this furniture, I get it. I know some dogs um, find some scariness about being allowed on the furniture, but this dog is allowed on the furniture. Um, yeah, get up closer, Jigs. Really take a look at how comfortable this looks. Yeah, Kaylee, you're, you're doing a great job of showing how comfortable furniture is. Ooh, good, good sitting, Dottie. Great job. Phoenix, I love your interpretation. 
Oh, Bodie, you're doing a great job on the mat of showing us Jigs. Oh, Jigs, you're not liking it. Jigs. Oh, Jigs, this is, I'm, Jigs, I'm sorry if this isn't for you. Um, Jigs, tell me more about what's displeasing you. Okay. Oh, oh, I get it. You're a very good sitter. I like that you're sitting. You're showing us how to sit without any furniture. Very good. Oh, and a lay down. Very good, Jigs. I get it. This dog is neither sitting or laying down. That's a great observation. Oh, Kaylee, that was a good lay down too. This dog is standing. Two front legs on the back of the chair, two front legs on the back, and just turned around to take a look at us. In fact, that would be a very tiring position to be in the whole time. You're absolutely right. Great work, great work. Oh, Dottie has a question, great. Oh, double question. Thank you, Dottie. So yes, I, I appreciate your observation. This dog looks a little sad. Look at those soulful eyes. You know what? It feels like an invitation to, I agree. It feels like this dog wants us to join them on the couch or the small chair. I agree. So thank you all for those observations and excellent interpretation of your own of this image. Really wonderfully done, excellent. Oh, Bodhi might have gotten bored. It's okay if you're sleeping. Um, you can come back to this artwork later in the tour and observe it. Um, oh, you're awake. Art is a peaceful observation, so feel free to snooze off if you need to. Oh, Dottie just ran to the gift shop. Uh, please check out the art books. They're really nice. All right, we're going to move forward. Look at this. Yeah. Look at those. What are those? Everyone, let's say it together. Sheep. Yes, look at those sheep. Now, I know a lot of you either are herding dogs or you know someone who is a herding dog. And they love sheep. They love herding a sheep. They love getting them together in organization. I think an interesting thing about this image is that it's celebrating the idea of a collective, of a group, of a community of creatures and animals and people coming together to take care of each other. And dogs are a big part of that organizers. Really, dogs are the community organizers that we need in all areas of our lives. What's beautiful here is we see green grass, we see an incredible structure, and we don't see any danger for these sheep. Because off stage, off screen, off photo, we can imagine that there's a dog looking out for them. The dog, the community organizer, taking care of these sheep, giving them guidance on where they should go. Doesn't that seem right? Oh, Jigs. Jigs ran into a sculpture. Oh, he came back. Um, I know that is a beautiful sculpture. It's of a duck. We won't be bringing that onto the dog tour, but feel free to check that out because I know ducks are a fun thing for dogs too. Okay, Kaylee, you are ready for the next one. I see you're already, you're ready to go. Let's move forward. Look at this. I know this one has a lot of color. Look at that. There's a lot happening here. What any, oh yeah, get in there, Jigs. Jigs, you are an artwork of your own with all your incredible outfits. Thank you. Yeah, get a, hunker in there, Phoenix, and take a look. What do we think is happening here? Oh, Bodhi, yeah, yeah, you, you maybe, maybe you're, the colors are too much. I get it. Okay, Kaylee, you know, this might not be a crowd pleaser, and that's okay. Art is an expression. Art is not a demand that everybody agree. Um, what, Dottie, it's okay if you don't want it either, but you know what, Phoenix and Jigs, you are on board with this. Okay, Dottie, you just wanted to get closer, excellent. I think getting closer is a good idea for this piece, because if you look really close of what's happening, we have a dog image in the center, and it's uh, drawn fairly two-dimensional, which means not with all the, the dimensions, not with more than one, two dimensions, and on its side, it's called Beach Dog with Audio Perceptions, 2005 by Lynn Gray. Now the audio perceptions are those yellow, the yellow tube coming out of the ear and the kind of gray one, which I think is interesting. Do you know why I think it's interesting? Oh, great answer, Bodhi, because dogs have excellent hearing. So why would an artist draw an image of a dog who had enhancements to help their hearing. Any thoughts on that? Okay, okay, Kaylee. Yes, Kaylee, um, 
You can use the restroom. Just join us, catch us up. Yes, Jigs. Yes, yes, great. That's right. Because the artist wanted to show through symbols how great a dog's hearing is. That is great. And that's what's happening in this image. There's no question that this dog has extraordinary hearing. And the bright colors also impacts our senses visually. No matter how, what level of color we see, I'm aware that canines have different color receptors than humans. But here we're getting to experience the senses of a dog in the exciting ways that they really are. Yeah, take a look at that. Yeah, oh, Kaylee, I understand. Getting a different viewpoint of things is important. Um, yeah, behind us, I see both Phoenix and Bodie are looking behind. Behind us, that is the all the balls section. There's so many balls over there. Um, and right here, I have some balls here. So maybe we'll just take a quick break and you can just chase these balls around the museum. One for everybody. Just go get them. Yeah, take a, take a break and look at those. Yeah, just go grab those. And while they're looking for the balls, um, I'll just have a conversation with Jigs and Bodie or anyone that's still here. Um, great. Oh, you want to know how I got into dog art? Well, I have always been drawing animals ever since I was little. My first dog, I just really would always draw her as a round body, four legs, a round head, and then a big tail. And that just really led to my passion for dogs in the arts. Yes. Oh, everyone's back from the ball break. Great. So just, I'm going to grab your attention. So come on a little closer. All right. Oh, everybody's paying attention. Great. Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, great job. Thank you. So yeah, let's move forward. Okay. Look at this piece. Now here, it's, yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's a food dish. This is a food dish. What are we observing about this food dish? There's something very unique. Yeah, okay, uh, Kaylee and Jigs went to grab a snack at the snack bar. I get it, this is making me hungry too. So what we're seeing is, yes, some beautiful details, a dog in the center, good observation. There's something invisible about this art. Does anyone know what it is? It's empty, right? It's an empty food dish. Now this is empty, it was created in 1810. So whatever dog got to eat off of this was pretty special because it's, it's pretty big. That means you get a lot of food. So this is empty, which reminds me that we do have um, places that you can have snacks around the museum or nearby restaurants, or since this is virtual in your own home, you can have snacks and treats is important too. Yes, yes. Um, I also want to let you know that um, you're welcome to return um, on a leash or off a leash at some point um, if you want. Um, yes, Dottie, you have a question. Great. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Right now, um, I don't think they have, uh, the Wiseman has a plan to have an all dogs only dog created art but you know what that's a great thing to keep bringing up because dog created art is important to put in all of the museums i think that is a really great option okay all right you know what now we have reached the end of our tour i want to thank the wiseman at the university of minnesota pause you are all employees of pause so thank you so much for taking time away from your busy life to go on this tour and the theater of public policy that helped bring me in and my passion for canine art into this tour oh great you know bodie phoenix jigs dotty pepper and kaylee you have been the most intelligent and extraordinary participants on my art tour. And I have learned as much from you as possibly you've learned from me. And I wanna thank you all so much for coming on this tour with us and have a wonderful day. And I hope you get to go on a lot of WALKs as much as possible. Thank you all so much.
Thank you all for coming along on this tour. And please follow the Theater of Public Policy for more fun, thinky stuff. And check out the Wiseman Art Museum's collection of wonderful art. And big thank you to all of our special guests from the PAUSE program at the University of Minnesota for joining us on this tour. Thank you.